This is video number 562. Let's talk about the brain drain in South Africa. We were called as believers to intercede, to stand in the gap and pray for our country, for our cities and for our communities. I have seen repeatedly that God will start with a far off call of action. If we ignore the far off call to action, He will bring it under our attention again. So instead of waiting until somebody really close to me immigrates to a foreign country, I've decided to make a note of the brain drain in South Africa right now and to intercede for it. It all started on Christmas Day. I attended the church service with my family. One of the questions the pastor asked was, how many of the attendees have children abroad? Half of the congregation raised their hands. I felt a short sting in my heart. I have recently also walked beside a casket of somebody I love dearly and my heart actually broke even more for his widow and orphans he left behind. So I felt the pain of not spending the holy day with loved ones. I could relate to the deep void inside of you for the ones that were supposed to sit at the empty chairs around the Christmas lunch table of feasting. It was soon forgotten the emotion I experienced in the church. But yesterday I had a lovely geriatric patient who opened the dam walls of her tear glands when she told me of her daughter that will be immigrating to Canada. Her other daughter has already been staying in New Zealand for the past 10 years. I saw her sadness. I see her loss. Hence, this is the platform that I'm starting to with this prayer chain. Firstly, I would like to pray to God that He comes and comforts the ones that was left behind. He is our comforter. He is the one that dries away all our tears. May He too come and do it for them. Just like God recently upgraded the people surrounding me, may He do it too for them. I started with the time to say goodbye journey. Then the sprinkles on top of the cupcake was my video on welcoming my life, kings and queens. May he too copy and paste this restoration in their life. Secondly, there are several promises in the Bible of God gathering all the scatterings of Israel. May he too do it in our generations, with our South Africans. May he whistle, call and gather all the scatterings of Africa. I have seen that Donald Trump started with, a, with this campaign, Make America Great Again. This is my deepest wish and prayer for South Africa. Make South Africa great again. May it cause a stirring in our leaders to not line their own pockets, but instead make South Africa great again. In order for the scatterings of South Africa to rush back to our beautiful red of African soil, may they soon find their way home. I have recently heard the testimony of a beautiful princess I journey with that she had to deal with repeatedly rejection for a fam from her family. Recently, one of her family members confided in her about the rejection he started to experience. She smiled and said, Do you now see what I have to deal with by you receiving the same kind of rejection that I have received from you? He was dumbstruck. Even if God has to make the leader feel what it feels like, what they are doing to cause a brain drain, even if he has to go to that extreme measures, even if it's just a gently like, for example, with a dream, or just sending a child to boarding school in a different province. But may he too, one way or another, let them grow empathy for the scene I had to witness both times. Once in the Christmas service, the second time with my Victoria Fall tears patient. May God have mercy on South Africa.